This tutorial will guide you through the process of creating, recording and editing a presentation, as well as broadcasting it simultaneously through Skype. First, open PresentLink Plus. By default, the application will immediately be ready for you to create a new presentation. We'll start by adding some media to the presentation. Click on Import File on the ribbon and select the PowerPoint slide deck to import. Once the deck is imported, you can add more decks, rearrange slides or add images. Slides can be rearranged by clicking and dragging as shown here. Next, we will import an image by clicking on the same Import File button. It's now been added to the end of the presentation, but we'll move it to the beginning. Input sources can be moved around and inserted at any point, including between the slides of the imported PowerPoint. After preparing content for the presentation, you can proceed to the presentation and recording stages. At this point, you will need to set up any video conference calls you want to use with PresenterLink Plus. For Skype, which is what we will use in this video, simply open the Tools menu and then select Options. Click on Video Settings and in the drop-down menu for Camera Selection, choose Camera for Video Meeting Plus, PresenterLink Plus. A similar process applies to other video conferencing applications. To begin presenting through Skype, simply click Start Presentation. To record the presentation at the same time, click Record. This will ensure that once you've finished the presentation, the recording will be saved to a file on your local hard drive. If you wish to present to a live audience as well as over Skype, you can extend the presentation to another monitor, just as you can in PowerPoint. The second monitor will be used to display the slides and webcam video, and your primary monitor will display the slide notes and upcoming slides. To activate this, simply click Extend Monitor. To highlight important points or make other live notes on your presentation content, click the Annotate button. This allows you to draw over whatever content you're presenting. It can easily be erased or taken back a step with the adjacent buttons. To show your audience desktop content, click on Present Desktop. This will take place of the slides when activated. Finally, if you need to pause the presentation for any reason, just click Be Right Back. We've included a Be Right Back screen. This will notify any participants that an intermission is in effect. Once you've finished presenting, click the Start Presentation button again and click Stop to halt the recording. We can now edit the presentation Click the Edit Produce tab to move to the Edit screen. PresenterLink Plus will automatically divide your presentation recording up into various sections based on the slides. At any one of these time points, you can re-record the audio. Here, we'll re-record the content of the third slide. Click on the pen icon on the third slide. In this Edit screen that appears, click Record Again to record new audio for this section. You can also add new annotations if desired. When finished, click Stop and exit the screen. Once you've edited any sections that need editing, click Produce to save the presentation as an MP4 video file. Choose a directory and click Produce here in the box. This concludes our basic tutorial. You can now share your presentation recording through YouTube or by sending the file directly.